Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teddy and for this video, this is a super quick video for those who are asking if what are the gems that you are seeing under your alliance name and at the same time the gems and the number right next to your names. So for this video, we are going to talk about that and how are you going to increase the amount of your alliance gems and at the same time your personal gem color. Before we proceed, if you find this video helpful, please consider to subscribe as well as like this video. This will help me grow my channel and at the same time, this will motivate me to make more videos for you guys. Alright, so if you have updated your game to version 1.14.20, you can see this gems right next to its players' uh, names and at the same time under your alliance name. And this will indicate a few things or the activeness of your alliance. These gems can be only seen by the players in your alliance or your alliance member rather. And the other alliances cannot see who are online or are active in your alliance. I think this is a good thing because because it won't show you or show your other alliances or opponents who are active or if your alliance is active or not. At least they haven't made that public. So let's go to the alliance first. Under your alliance level, you will see there uh, either if you're max but your alliance development is so green. This will increase as well guys. The points will increase to gold once you reach 100. We have the pretty similar scoring with the personnel. Just remember that the color of your alliance development is based on the development and activeness of your alliance members. So this is a cumulative amount of the number of the players that are active in your alliance. So the more active your alliance, the more 100 or gold uh, gem players you have in your alliance, the higher the color and the score of your alliance development. So the players who have logged into the game after the update will have this color. So you will have the scoring. This is after you've done or complete your daily task. Uh, give assistance to your alliance mates by clicking that, uh, that timer and at the same time by donating to your alliance tech. So the more tasks that you are going to complete, the more points you can get and the higher the color that your gem will have. I think this is on a daily basis so that at least it is a good thing for your alliance leader to keep track of the activity of your alliance members. The red color is for 0 to 50 points made. For the green color, it will be 51 to 75. And then for the gold, is for 76 to 100 points. This is pretty similar to your alliance development. So if you have 50 points in your alliance development, it means that your gem is colored green. And once you are 76 to 100 points, it means that all of your alliance members already done all the tasks for the day. Then your alliance development will turn into gold. Those players who haven't logged in to your alliance will have the gray colored and the amount or the duration of their inactive days or inactive hours. So again, to increase the score of your individual gem color, you will need to do complete your daily task, provide assistance to your alliance members, and at the same time donate to your alliance tech. So if you want a gold gem for your alliance development, it will show you there that most of your players or 90% of your players or 95% of your players were able to finish all the three tasks for that day. To determine if which of your alliance members are active and at the same time offline or online or offline, the online swan will have the embossed color of their battle power. Whereas the offline ones who have the badges or the gems will show you a gray colored battle power. It is really hard to check out if you have issues with your eyes, especially for me. If I'm not wearing my glasses, I can barely see guys if which of these players or alliance members of mine are active or not. So that's it for today and I hope that this video will help you figure out on how you're going to increase the color of your gems. I'm not really sure if the points will be exchanged later on but at the moment it's just for display and just an indicator of how active your alliance is. And at the same time this is for sure under uh, being used by the game or the developers to figure out if which of your alliance or which of this alliance are active or not. And I hope that 
with this feature that they have added, they can figure out and at least make the matches when it comes to Reservoir Raid and SVS better in the future. So that's it for today, guys, and see you on my next video. Bye.